Adrian Shaw. I'm the Climate Change Officer for the Church of Scotland. The Church of Scotland is working with a charity called Eco Congregation Scotland to take a baton made of recycled church pews around Scotland this summer. The baton carries a message. The message is time for climate justice. Churches in Scotland demand a deal in Paris, December 2015. We want to take a message to the World Council of Churches and others involved in that conference that churches in Scotland are deeply concerned about climate change and we want to see action internationally, globally, as well as locally to address this huge problem that we all face together. It is not a technology problem, it's not a financing problem, it's not a government problem at the end of the day. It is about us as individuals deciding whether we care enough about the world around us, about the people around us, to make the changes that are required. We're about to go out into the world with our senses awakened, to set out across the hills and valleys. My name's Leslie Morrison. This is not my baby, this is Ruby. She's a beautiful baby. I've borrowed her for a short while in this walk. Um, I'm a member of Tweet Green, which is the local environmental group. And we're here today primarily to celebrate our glorious countryside. We are very lucky to live in a beautiful part of the world, but we're here to walk around it in the context of what's happening across the world, which is climate change. And we're thinking about what we can do as individuals and as communities to try to prevent it or at least to mitigate it. So it's half past eight in Russia. Okay. So as permafrost melts the northern forests in Russia and Finland will die and we will lose the lungs of the northern hemisphere. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They made paradise put in the parking lot. That you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. <laughs> 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 we will walk the rainbow trail. change has a very very direct impact on forestry. The dilemma with climate change is even the foresters don't know what to plant but all of these things are very significant because they do take in carbon and they're, they're one way in which we can mitigate some of the other things that we're doing in making emissions so they do matter a lot. made by our leaders there will determine all of our futures for better or for worse. So let's hope for the best in Paris. What did we find in the fields today, we who have wandered so far away? We found a windflower, small and frail, and a crocus cup like a holy grail. We found a hill that was clad in gorse, a new-built nest and a streamlet source. We saw a star and a moonlit tree. We listened. God spoke. 
to us. May this encourage all of us to speak out that together we can do what we can to save our planet. I'd just like to say that I came as a person with faith in nature, probably rather than faith in God, um, because I think that the Our Voices movement is trying to mobilise everybody. It's absolutely wonderful that it's mobilising communities of faith across the world, but it has to embrace all of us because we're all in this together. It's as simple as that. Tall trees, tall trees, on fire, strong wind.